Hello students, welcome to our channel General Learnings. In this video, you are going to learn about measurements. First, we will see what is measurements. Let us take some common example that we hear in our daily life. How tall are you? How much do you weigh? How old are you? In order to answer these questions, what we need, we need to measure. So, to know how tall you are, we need to measure your height. To know how much you weigh, you must weigh yourself. To find how old you are, you need to measure time. So, measurement is nothing but to measure the object's height, weight and capacity. In order to know the measure of any object, we must know the object's height, weight and capacity. So, using measure, we can see how long the object will be or how tall and how short and how far the two things will be. We can measure. Next, we are going to see length. So, what is a length? So, length means the distance starting from one end to the other end of an object will be called as a length. So, here they have given the pencil picture. So, we can measure the length of a pencil. How you will measure? So, the length of an object can be measured using ruler, tape or rod. So, in the above example, they use the scale to measure the length of a pencil. Next, we are going to see the unit of length. Length can be measured in centimeter or meter. So, for smaller objects like pencil, eraser, we use centimeter to measure their length. For longer objects like dress, table, we use meter to measure their length. 1 meter equal to 100 centimeter. Next, we are going to see long or short. The object which has more length will be called as longer or taller. That means any object whose length is more, that object will be called as an longer. Short. The object which is short in length is called as shorter. That means the object length is short means that will be called as a shorter. So, where and all the longer can be used objects which are laying down. That means any object laying down that time we will tell, tell that the object is longer. Taller. Object which are standing up. For example, tree. Tree will be in standing position. That time we will tell the tree is taller. Next, we will see some of the worksheet. They tell us to tick the longer object. So, longer means what? The length of an object should be more. Here they have given pencil picture. So, we need to compare these two pictures. So, which picture is having more length? So, the left hand side picture has more length. So, that should be a longer. So, we are going to tick that object. Next, they have told us to draw a line longer than the object. They have given eraser. So, we should draw longer. So, longer means we should draw a line more length than this eraser length. That will be called as a longer. Next, they have told us to draw a line shorter than the object. They have given scale. So, we should draw a line Small length than the scale that will be called as a shorter. Next, they tell us to circle the picture which is taller. Here they have given cup and glass. While comparing these two pictures, which one will be taller? Taller is which has more in length will be called as a taller. So, which has more length? Yes, glass has more length. So, we are going to circle the Glass. Next, they have given dog. So, we need to circle the taller. So, while comparing these two pictures, which picture has more length? Yes, this left hand side dog has more length than this dog. So, we are going to circle this picture. 
Next we are going to see thicker and thinner. The object which is greater in width will call thicker. So thicker means the width of an object should be greater. So here they have given book. So the width of the book is more. So that book will be called as a thicker. Next the object which is small in width is called thinner. So thinner means the width of an object should be small. For example they have given book. So this book as with as which is very small. So the width of the book will be small. That will be called as a thinner. Next they told us tick the thinner object. Here they have given two picture. Row picture. So thinner means what? Thinner means the width of the object should be small. While comparing these two picture. Which width is small? Yes, this rope has a smaller width than this rope. So, we are going to mark the object. So, which is a thinner object. Next, they tell us to tick the thicker object. They have given two pictures. Now, we are going to tick the thicker one. So, thicker means what? The width of an object should be more. While comparing these two pictures, which picture has more width? Yes, this brush has more width than this brush. So, we are going to mark this object which is a thicker object. Next, we are going to see about heavier and lighter. The object which has more weight are called heavier. So, heavier means what? The Whose object has more width, that object will be called as a heavier. For example, they have given ship. So, the weight of the ship will be more. So, that object will be called as a heavier. So, ship is a heavier object. The object which has less weight are called lighter. So, lighter means less in weight will be called as a lighter. Here they have given boat. So, boat weight should be less. While comparing to ship, the boat weight will be always less. So, boat will be called as a lighter object. Next, we will see unit of weight. Length can be measured in kilogram or gram. For lighter objects like apples, we use gram to measure their weight. For heavier objects like group of apples, we use kilogram to weight their. So, 1 kilogram equal to 1000 gram. Next, they have told us to tick the heavier object. Here they have given elephant and rat object. So, we are going to tick with which is a heavier. So, heavier means what? The weight of an object should be more. While comparing this two picture, whose weight is more? Rat or elephant? Yes, elephant weight will be more. So, we are which is a heavier object. So, we are going to mark elephant as a heavier object. Next, they have given, tick the lighter object. Here they have given apple and pumpkin. So, lighter means what? The weight of an object should be less. While comparing these two pictures, which weight will be less, apple or pumpkin? Yes, apple weight will be less while comparing to pumpkin. So, we are going to mark the lighter object as apple. Thanks for watching. If you want more videos like this, Please go and visit my YouTube channel at General Learnings 91. Thank you.